What's up guys, Carson Jones here, and today we are going to be talking about corn today. The and moment you've all been waiting for. Yeah, and so, corn, do you want to explain to them what we're doing today? He wants me to talk about it. It's kind of a traumatic <laughs> situation. So first, oh, okay. the re take over. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, do you want to talk about it? No, I don't know what happened. I was a two-year-old. Okay, all right. It was two. No, you weren't. Yeah, I he was. was like a year, two year and a half when the exactly. whole thing went so down. Exactly, so Okay, so the reason that we're doing this is because a lot of people leave comments. Why does Corin have, they'll see him with his shirt off because he always seems to have his shirt off. First of all, Corin, how was the second day of school? Was it good or was it not good? Not good. Why? Because it was school. Did you enjoy your classes? I guess. Do you have good classes? No. He has a teacher. That has snakes, like five foot snakes that are this big, and there's three of them, and they're cool. I think I've never even seen them. Corey just told me about them. Are they cool? Yeah. Is that gonna be your favorite class? Yeah. What class is that yeah. one? Science. Do you get to dissect the snakes? Nope. That's what I said. We get to like watch them feed though. What, what? do they eat? <laughs> rats. Ratons. Rats. El raton. Live rats. Like they're like jiggling. They playing? like drop them in and they start running in and the snake chases them and eats them. Chases them? Well, I have to try and get some footage of that. That's so okay, back to the vlog. Okay, so people see Corin and they see that he has two belly buttons. Show us your two belly buttons real quick so people know what we're talking about. Okay, so he's got this belly button and this belly button. <laughs> and he's got, hold on. Dude, just freaking he's got, <laughs> You're trying to bully me. And then he's got this slit and then turn around, let's see your back. Mm -hmm. So then he's got this big slit here, and he's got this big slit here. What are you doing? What is happening? Mom told me. What's happening? Dude just said he gets all the money for this video. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, here we go. Did I agree? Yeah, no, mom okay. did though. Here we go. <laughs> I don't like this. Come on, just proceed. Okay, Whatever. get up. Okay, so I'm gonna tell the story about what happened, and then we're gonna show you a few things. So. When Corin was about a year old, so everything was going good, and then one day he just started crying really bad. And I couldn't get him to stop crying, and it was, a, it was more of like a screaming cry, like something was seriously wrong. But I couldn't figure out anything that could possibly be wrong with him, and he eventually stopped doing it. So I was like, okay, everything's fine. Well then, over the next few months, he started to have a lot of issues. Like, for example, he would have these coughing fits where he would cough and cough and cough, and, um, hi Cars and he couldn't breathe, so he would like be gasping for air and wheezing for air. So I took him to the doctor and they said, oh, we think that he probably has asthma. So I'm like, okay, that's weird, but let's treat him for asthma. So we started doing these breathing treatments for him with steroids and none of it was working. Steroids? That's why he's so buff now. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> so we started doing the breathing treatments, it didn't work. And then he like wouldn't, during all this time he wouldn't eat food. So he would chew up food and then he would just spit it out, everything. So he was losing tons of weight and he wasn't growing. Um, he was tiny. He was like 19 pounds and he was, well when he was about a year and a half when we kind of figured out what was wrong, he was 19 pounds, which is just And crazy. what is the average two year old's weight, Mom? I bet he should have been more like around 30 pounds. Oh dang, you were so he was, And he was just boy. short and tiny, but he was so cute. <laughs> but he wouldn't eat anything. And then he would have these, like I said, he would have these coughing fits. So I would try everything to try to stop him. I'd take him like into the shower, like with the steam and try to get that in there. Nothing would work. Then we also went and we got his throat scoped. So they scoped down his throat, down to about here. And they're like, no, there's nothing there in his throat. Everything's fine. And I'm like, this is so weird. Something is wrong. So at that point, um, they were like, well, maybe we could like schedule an exploratory surgery where we go in and see if there's anything wrong because clearly something's not right with this kid. They're like, hey, we can do it in like six months. So then a couple weeks after that, he started having another really bad coughing fit in the evening. And then the next day he had another one. I was like, that's it. So I rushed him to the emergency room at Primary Children's Hospital. And I was like, this kid can't breathe. Um, so they brought us back to the room. They did all these tests on him. They're like, everything seems fine. His oxygen's fine. And then Steve came, Carson and Corin's dad. And um, so their dad came up to the hospital and he said, 
we're not leaving until you figure out what's wrong with our son. So they went and did some x-rays on him and they're like, everything looks fine. And then somebody came in and they're like, I don't know, we think we see there might be a penny stuck in his throat. A penny? And we're like, a penny? They're like, yeah, we think there's a penny stuck in there. So we'll just like try to figure it out. We'll, we'll try to get it out. And um, we're like, okay. I'm gonna put a video clip in here later just kind of showing you some of this. So they're like, so there's a penny in there. So we're, we're just going really quick and we're gonna go get the penny out. Shouldn't be a big deal. So we send him back for the surgery. We're gonna get the penny out. About two hours later, the doctor comes out and she's just like, looks like she's gonna die. And she's like, there is a huge, huge, huge problem with your child. And we're like, what? And they're like, we do not even know what happened, but we just scope down to get the penny out and his whole insides are torn to shreds. And there is just like infection everywhere. There's a major problem. So your son is up in intensive care. He's got a breathing tube and you are gonna have to wait tomorrow until tomorrow when we can have a whole surgical team here to go in and figure out what in the heck's wrong with him. So the next day they went in and the surgery was about four hours long. Luckily we had the chief surgeon at the hospital because otherwise Corin's life would be a lot different than it is right now. So they came out of the surgery and I was like, is everything, or we were all like, is everything okay? And she's like, it's not okay, this is really bad. So she said, we don't even know, we know what happened, it looks like he swallowed something. And she's like, I'm gonna show you what he swallowed. And we don't know how long this has been in there, but what it basically was, and then we're gonna show it to you in just a second, is it was a piece of thick plastic confetti. It was a pumpkin, so this, he must have swallowed it around Halloween time. And he swallowed it, and when it went in, it got lodged, and the plastic, every time he'd cough, or try to swallow, or do anything, it would slice at his throat. <laughs> you guys are laughing at this? Okay, proceed. This is not funny. So it's slice and slice and slice. So that's why he couldn't eat or anything. What a kind brother. Holy cow. This is not um, funny. Your hand motion. Cut, cut, You'll cut. get it. Yeah, go, you guys go get it while I'm telling the story. Corin's gonna go get it while I tell the story. I've never seen this in my life. You've never seen it? I have not. Okay, so anyways, what happened is it slit, slit his throat open. Go Fortnite. Well then, Corin, go get it. Get off Fortnite. Yeah, I'm going to get it. Gosh dang. He's got 99 problems. So it sliced his throat open and then it created, since he didn't have anywhere to swallow because when he would eat food, um, it would just basically go out into his body so that wouldn't work. So his body created its own little workaround. It made its own little tube so that any food he did it would kind of go around. But then there was an infection, and that was like the size of a grapefruit on a little 20 pound kid. And then there was infection everywhere. So his esophagus, which is what the food would go down, was just like trashed, it was gone, completely gone. And then his trachea, which is what you breathe out of, was 90% compressed. So he was only getting about 10% of the air that he needed to survive. And so they said that they didn't even understand how he was still alive. So that was really bad. So in order for them to, so they went in there, in order to this, they had to pop his chest open from the back. So they sliced his back open and then they actually had to pop his rib cage open from the back and try to get in there to fix this. So the surgeon, she told us afterwards, she said, I just want you to know that I tried to fix this, but there's a huge chance it's not even gonna fix and he's gonna just never be able to eat again. He's gonna have to have a breathing tube for the rest of his life, but I tried to fix it. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put him into a coma and so he's gonna be in a coma for one month because he can't move, he can't swallow, he can't do anything while we try to get this to heal. So he had a feeding tube in his stomach, which is where the second belly button came from. And then he had little like drains coming out of all over his body. They had us go meet with a kid who was in the hospital that had a trachea so we could see what that, or a trach, it's like a little thing in your neck you breathe out of. Cause they told us we were gonna have to have that for Corin and he would have to use that to breathe for the rest of his life. So needless to say, Corin is a fighter and Corin is a tough kid. And when he came out of that coma, he was healed. And he only had to have the feeding tube for um, like a few months, but he was still able to eat before we even left the hospital. We were there for just a little over a month. And he does have scars all over and he does have a, a second belly button, which he kind of likes, because it's kind of a fun thing to have. But um, he's lucky to be alive and we're so grateful that he is. Okay, you found it. Mr. So, Pumpkin Man? 
So this tube, you're gonna. I ain't no Mr. Pumpkin Man. <laughs> so this tube, this is yeah, this was his breathing tube. So this is what he breathed mm -hmm. out of the whole time he was in the coma. So that's his little, his little bracelet he wore in his <laughs> little baby hand. All right, now it's time for when the doctor gave me this. She said, "Here's your two hundred thousand dollar pumpkin," because that's how much the surgery cost. You were two hundred thousand dollars, bro. That was just the surgery. <laughs> that wasn't even anything else. This is probably going to be a little bit hard to see. Dude, that, why are you touching that? That's just Carson. Crazy. I'm going to put it on my leg. That thing's a murder. It is a murder. So this is it. It's like pretty hard plastic. Like. Thicker than Can most. I see how it tastes? <laughs> no. Oh, look, I just got it. Wait, quick, don't move. So this is it. <laughs> and... Hi, Corin. Hello. Okay. So this is it. You can tell it's got a little pumpkin face. Hopefully you can tell. This is the murderous pumpkin. So we're glad Corin's alive. <laughs> so good. All right, so that's gonna be it for the video. So thank you so much for watching. But yeah, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you wanna see more videos and comment what you wanna see. And yeah, that's it, peace out.